What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It's the Choose here from Choose to Explore, where we teach you guys how to see the world and save a dollar. So we're here in the beautiful country, the land of fire and ice. And where does that live? Iceland. <laughs> and we're super excited today because we'll be working with Kotla Track to do a super unique activity that we didn't think we could do here in April. So yesterday was actually the first day of summer here. And when you think of the summer, I don't think about a glacier tour. But guess what? <laughs> Kotla Track found a glacier that you can go in year round. So we're super excited to be able to go through it today. So stay tuned, you guys don't want to miss this one. Check it out. All right, so we just drove about 30 minutes. We had to drive on the road, off the road, through different areas that were looked crazy. The landscapes here are out of this world. Um, they also just gave us a helmet, some cramp-ons, which you put on your shoes like spikes. I think today's a beautiful day, so I don't know if we'll need all of this, but it's good to have it. I actually took my jacket off because it's such a hot day. We're here in the summer. First day of summer, it's April. <laughs> So right here we got to cross this little bridge because it's a hot day today so the glaciers are actually melting all of this river it looks like a river here but it's not a river it's literally just from the glacier melting our guide told us at the current rate that the glacier is melting in about 200 years there'll be no more glaciers in iceland we got to take better care of this earth But the good thing about this is every morning, Kotla Track sends two people to go in and check it, change any of the bridges, change any of the tunnels that need to be changed. So that makes me feel good that one of these things won't collapse on me. But I got this helmet anyway. <laughs> Just got on our helmets, got our crampons, and we're heading into the glacier. So we climbed up to the top and check out this view right here, guys. All right, and now we're about to enter the ice cave. Let's go. just walked through the cave. I can't even explain that experience. It was so beautiful. Just take a look at that, guys. This, will be, this one will hopefully last for the summer and then it will last for the winter. Then next summer it will be finished, it will be unsafe to Go through. Okay. So another really cool thing I love about these ice caves are the different layers. So if you look through, it has these different black lines. And that's because it'll be a volcanic eruption, then it snows on top. Then a volcanic eruption again, and then it snows on top. And it gives these beautiful lines all the way through. So when this breaks down, it's just a, a fine black sand. Also another thing that I love are the different curves in the waves from the caves. And our guy tells us that that is from the wind carving the caves to make these bigger holes. Beautiful here. Melted has to find a way out. 
So we will look for the easiest path out, we'll look for a weak spot for a crack. So the crazy thing is, in this middle crater right here, about three weeks ago, it was filled with snow. So that tells you how warm it is today. We got really lucky. Only about the 20% of the oxygen. Yeah, in We're just finishing up our tour here with Kotla Track, and that Glacier Cave tour was amazing. Yes, we had a great guide, Johannes, and we, we had just the best time. He told us so much about Icelandic culture, Icelandic foods, Icelandic people. So we got a lot more things we're trying to add to our itinerary just based off of that. So we highly recommend doing it with Kotla Track and request Johannes. <laughs> so please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.